In part 7 of our build guide, we disassemble the steering column and strip the dash. With the dash upside down, disconnect the two outer plugs from the power steering module. Use a 7mm socket to remove the six screws and brace near the column. Use a 13mm socket to remove the three bolts that secure the column to the dash. Use a 7mm socket to remove the lower covers from the column. Reinstall two of the screws into the ignition switch. Disconnect the ignition switch plugs. Disconnect and remove the turn signal switch. Disconnect and remove the wiper switch. Disconnect the airbag and steering wheel controls. Remove the steering column from the dash. Use a 13mm socket to remove the collapsible steering shaft. Use wire cutters to peel off the metal boot clamp. Separate the large rubber boot from the smaller seal and slide it off the shaft. Using wire cutters, cut through one half of the smaller seal and remove it. Use a 10 mm wrench to separate the power steering unit from the column tube. Reinstall the bolts into the unit. Push a small rod or allen wrench into the holes on the back side of the steering wheel cover to release the airbag. Pinch the tabs on the airbag plugs to remove them. Use a 21 mm socket to remove the steering wheel nut. Hammer the back of the steering wheel to release it from the steering shaft. Make sure you are hitting against the wheel frame. You can also rent a steering wheel puller from your local parts supplier. Use a screwdriver or a pry bar to pry the metal strap over the rectangle boss. Pry the strap away from the column. Turn the key to the run position to unlock the ignition switch. Rotate the strap back and forth while loosening the security shear bolt to remove it. An alternate way is to cut a slot in the head of the bolt and use a flat blade screwdriver. Using wire cutters, bend the bearing retainer stakes out of the way. Use snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring and then push the steering shaft through. Use the steering shaft to knock the bearing out of the housing. Temporarily replace the bearing, snap ring, and nut. Use a 10 mm socket to disconnect the brake booster from the pedal. Replace the foam spacer and nut. Use a 13 mm socket to remove the locking nuts that attach the brake booster. Replace the locking nuts on the brake booster. Remove the power steering wiring harness. Using a 13 mm socket, remove the bolt and lay the pedal assembly on its side. Disconnect the throttle pedal position sensor and the brake light switch. Use a screwdriver to remove the OBD2 plug from the dash. Use a screwdriver to pry off the trim plates across the front of the dash. Disconnect any wires that attach to the trim plates.
Use a screwdriver to remove the center bezel. Disconnect the passenger airbag warning lamp. Use a 7mm socket to remove the radio from the dash. Disconnect the antenna and plugs from the radio. Use a 7mm to remove the climate control switches. Disconnect the three plugs from the climate control. Open the glove box and use wire cutters to cut the descent control string on the right. Remove the glove box. Use a 7mm socket to remove the screws holding the dash cover. Open the cover located in the glove box area. Use a 10mm socket to remove the bolts holding the passenger airbag. Separate the dash cover from the dash far enough to gain access to the hazard light plug. Use a knife or a small screwdriver to disconnect the hazard light plug. Disconnect the harness from the gauge panel. Use a 7mm socket to remove the four screws attaching the gauge panel. Use a 7mm socket to remove the air ducts. Use a knife or a small screwdriver to disconnect the light sensor. Snap out the key fob tire pressure monitor and disconnect it. Using a 7mm socket, work your way across the dash removing any remaining screws. Use a 10mm socket to remove the four nuts across the front. Remove the three Phillips screws near the bottom. Use a 7mm socket to remove the screws attaching the glove box loop. Tap the plastic dash support structure away from the steel frame and remove it. Using wire cutters, work your way across the steel frame freeing the harness. Use a 10 mm socket to disconnect the wiring harness grounds. Collect and sort the fasteners. In the next video, we'll strip the rear of the car and drop the fuel tank.